The following screencast will provide a demonstration of Acknowledge's automated left ventricular pressure analysis routine. This particular analysis routine is very similar to the blood pressure analysis whereby Acknowledge will take in any left ventricular pressure waveform. In the example I'm looking at here, this is from a mouse. The routine will then score the data and either create new channels based on the measurements that were taken from the data and or paste the values into the journal file or into an Excel file for further analysis. To run this analysis you go to the analysis menu down to the hemodynamics submenu and in there we have the left ventricular blood pressure analysis. When you select this option you're asked to identify the pressure waveform, in this case it's channel 1. We can create a new derivative of the left ventricular pressure channel or you can use an existing one. In this, ta this time I'm going to create a new derivative. I'm going to put in a recovery percentage of 70%. I don't have an ECG signal. If you do have an ECG waveform, the software will also perform an ECG analysis as well. And I'm going to run this over the entire graph. I hit OK. And the software runs through and scores the data. identifying the systolic and the diastolic points. So now it's calculated the derivative and it's going through and analyzing the data. Once the analysis is complete you will end up with two channels, the original left ventricular pressure signal and then the derivative. And In both cases you can see how acknowledges, Acknowledge has scored the data and put event marks in at the appropriate points. And down below we should also have a copy of the spreadsheet with the results. Like all the spreadsheets in Acknowledge, every analysis goes through on a cycle-by-cycle -cycle basis and there are headers at the top of each of the measurement columns. So in this particular case for the left ventricular pressure analysis, first column is the cycle number, the time, rate, left ventricular end diastolic pressure, systolic, developed pressure, minimum pressure, contractility index, tension time index, DPDT max and DPDT min, tau, and then your recovery percentage. And in the example we just ran through, I used 70%. If we go back into our raw file, use the magnifying glass, we can zoom in and we can see the marks for the different points on the derivative we've got DPDT max, DPDT min, and then there's our percent recovery. And all of these events are available for use for further analysis. And of course, we could have, if we had selected the option, displayed each of the measurements that were available from our spreadsheet as new channels for further analysis. All this file can be taken into some statistical package for further statistical analysis and comparison. That concludes this screencast of the left ventricular pressure analysis waveform.